Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Uh, so we're going to do a food review of Chuck's Barbecue in Fresno at the corner of Willow and Ashland, just off the Chestnut Diagonal. Now, I've been here before, and I know it's going to be wonderful, but you guys haven't seen it yet. So let's check it out. Uh, all right, my friends. So I was running errands and two errands. One, I went over to the firing line indoor shooting range in Clovis, California. And to spread the wealth, I picked up a couple boxes of this target loads. I guess we can call them. Let's see how they look. Arms Corps, I'm not sure where Arms Corps is manufactured. Well, it's got an American flag on it right there. So, let's check it out. Ball ammo, man, it looks dirty. <laughs> so, picked up 100 rounds of those. We had that, that ruling from St. Benitez, and I've got uh, some... Uh, some mail order stuff coming in. Uh, we'll get to that when it arrives. I did get one notice from Brownells that it had been shipped. Okay, so now back to Chuck's Barbecue. And I did not give them any prior notice. I was going to take some pictures of the interior of their building, of their little restaurant. They got some tables in there uh, for waiting and, you know, enough to eat. They could seat like 20 people easily, I guess. Uh, but there was other people in there, and that, you know, they, I didn't want to have them on video, and people get hot under the collar when you start filming, even though it's a uh, First Amendment protected right. Now, I mean, I'm backed up pretty much, so this is what it looks like: twelve bucks plus tax. Okay, look at the slices. Right, look. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. And not only can I not wait to eat it, he didn't eat his potatoes, but he wants some of it. He wants part of my sandwich, don't you? Yeah, don't give me that look with the ears back. So, anyway, and I don't have a scale. I wish I had a scale that I could, you know, a proper scale to weigh it and see how much meat it is. But I do have a measuring tape. So we're going to measure it like the old-fashioned way. We're going to do... Okay, so there's a piece right there. Okay, now that's easier because that's little. But let's check the thickness of that piece of... I mean, look at that. That's a good half-inch thick right there. The slices. Okay, so let's go up. The slices of this, I mean, look at that thing. Holy mackerel. Okay. Literally a half inch thick. I mean, their meat is, is nice. It's good. There's plenty of it. Slice thick as can be. Look at that, all of it, half inch thick. Okay, but the true test is down here. So we're gonna find out how Toffee rates it. If he gives it a 8.3, 7.2. Okay, I tore up some little chunks. I have to keep wiping my fingers off. All right, let's see here. So the wife gave him some potatoes from our breakfast earlier. He still hasn't ate it. Are you going to chew? He never chews his food. Unless it's like literally... All right, it's toffee approved. So what do you rate that at? 8.7, 9.2. Oh, 
Okay, Toffee's going to wait patiently while I eat. But I just wanted you to see what you get when you order a tri-tip sandwich for 12 bucks plus tax at Chuck's Barbecue. Uh, yeah, there you go, in focus. All right, my friends. Wait. And they do throw in some uh, barbecue sauce if you want it. I like to just put salt on mine. If it's already mostly seasoned, I just add salt. That's my favorite seasoning. But they have a full menu, but this is wonderful. I always like their tri-tips. All right, my friends, you have a good day. Okay, for the verse of the day, we're going to go to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4. And we're going to start with verse 1. It reads, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which in this case means food, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And that's why we say grace at the beginning of each meal, my friends. And you folks have a good day.